Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson in pre-calculus. We are still talking about quadratic equation. And for this video, I am going to talk about the discriminant of the quadratic equation. So what is the discriminant of the quadratic equation? For ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers, the discriminant is the expression under the radical in the quadratic formula b squared minus 4ac. It tells us whether the solutions are real numbers or complex numbers and how many solutions of each type to expect. If you can remember our quadratic formula, okay, the quadratic formula states that the, the root of a quadratic equation is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so the nature of the roots of the, disc, uh, of the quadratic equation is determined by the value under the radical sign b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so the value of b squared minus 4ac determines the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. As you can see in the table, if the b, if the value of b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. So there are two roots, but these two roots are real and these two roots are also equal. We call it the do, uh, double solution, okay? If b squared minus 4ac is positive, meaning it's greater than 0, the roots are real and unequal. So we have two roots, they are real roots, but they are unequal, okay? And lastly, if the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then the roots are imaginary or complex number and unequal. Okay, they are complex conjugate of each other. So we have a conjugate, complex conjugate, if the discriminant is negative. Okay, so we shall illustrate this property of the discriminant in the following example. So determine the character of the roots of each of the following equations okay so we are not asked to solve for the roots we just want to know the nature of the roots okay so we are going to solve for the discriminant so the discriminant d is equal to b squared minus 4ac remember before substituting the values of a b and c in the formula we need to write our quadratic equation in standard form but since our the given equation is already in standard form, then we can immediately substitute the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 3, b is negative 2, and c is negative 6. Okay? So therefore, the discriminant is equal to negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 3 times c is negative 6. Okay? So negative 2 squared is 4. We have 4 times 3 times 6. That's This is minus and we have negative over there. So that's positive 72, which is equal to 76. Okay, therefore, b squared minus 4ac is positive. So it's greater than 0. Therefore, if... If the discriminant is greater than zero, then the roots are the roots, the two roots are real, okay? Because uh, the discriminant is positive and they are also unequal, okay? So we have two real and unequal roots. Let us take a look at another example. Now determine the character of the roots of the equation 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So b squared minus 4ac is equal to, this is already written in standard form, so we are going to directly substitute the values here. 
So we have negative 12 is squared minus 4, A is 4, and C is positive 9. Okay, so we have 12 squared is 144. Okay, this is minus 4 times 4 times 9 is uh, also 144. So therefore, this is equal to 0. And that means the discriminant is 0. Therefore, the roots are real. They are still real numbers. And since the discriminant is equal to 0, the roots are the roots are equal. So we have two real and equal roots in this case. And finally, uh, let us determine the character of the roots of 2x squared plus 6x plus 7. So the discriminant b squared minus 4ac equals, okay, this is 6 squared minus 4 times a times c. 6 squared is 36, 4 times 2 times 7 is 56. And therefore, we have a negative uh, value of the discriminant. If the value of the discriminant is negative, we have the roots are imaginary. Okay, so the roots are imaginary. And they are unequal, okay, and unequal, okay. So we know that uh, the two roots are complex conjugates of each other. So that's it for the discriminant of the quadratic equation. Uh, for the next video, we are going to uh, talk about some simple uh, applications of the quadratic equation. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.